Dozens of Mexico high school students spent the day participating in the second annual Chain Reaction event last week, sponsored by the school's Rachel. Chain Reaction are making a difference and having a positive effect on the student body at the high school. There's actually. Um, I think students are working harder to be kinder. I really do think that, um, especially the underclassmen who have been coming up and have been dealing with this every year. So we have some students who this is their second year going to Chain Reaction. I think it is making a difference. I think kids are trying to be kinder to one another. This is the second year that English teacher Ann Michaelis has participated in the Chain Reaction program. But I think more so it's about, it is about get, giving them a voice, but it's about getting them to realize that they have a voice, getting them to realize that we're all the same and that we all are carrying weight and that we all walk around with masks on sometimes and we hide, um, you know, what's really going on sometimes in our lives and just how important it is to be cognizant that other people regardless of how well dressed or educated they look may be going through some very difficult times that you may be unaware and so it, it develops compassion. I think that sophomore Aiden Renfer was one of more than 90 freshmen and sophomores who participated in the Thursday session. Unable to attend last year, Renfer was glad he was there this year. Yeah, the, a lot of teens, especially in our school, are in the same boat, we can relate with all with each other, and it doesn't. I don't know. It's maybe good for us to talk to each other about it. Halligan said the program ultimately can give participants some confidence. What we talk about is the idea that we put masks on when we when we go out into society, when we go to classes, when we go to school, and how it's important to not wear those masks always because it's important to be vulnerable because that's what opens you up to empathy for others, but also to um, you know sharing with people the pain or the you know the the things that you're going through. Halligan said the central objective of the chain reaction event is that participating students will take what they've learned and observed to the rest of the student body. The objective of Chain Reaction is to start a chain reaction of kindness. Uh, hopefully students take what they learned there, take the empathy that they gained from learning about other students that deal with the same problems that they deal with, and use it to, you know, play it forward and, and sorry, pay it forward and allow um, other students to kind of continue in that positivity, continue in being kind to one another. Michaelis argues that character education, like that being fostered by the Rachel's Challenge Club, is just as important at the high school level as it is in early grades. It tends to stop at elementary school or middle school, but it shouldn't. It really needs to be talked about. You know, a lot of students um, uh, are carrying things that just wouldn't imagine. Students interested in joining the Rachel's Challenge Club should speak with Mrs. Halligan in room 104. For Eye on the Tigers, I'm Thomas Sheeran.